we explore the latest advancements in artificial intelligence, we are diving into the world of large language models and taking a closer look at Mistral AI's latest offering, Mistral Large. We'll compare it with other LLM models and discuss its potential impact on coding endeavors. So, let's get started. Before we delve into Mistral Large, let's first understand the background of Mistral AI. Mistral AI is a Paris-based AI startup founded by former researchers from Meta, OpenAI, and Google DeepMind. They have been making waves in the AI ecosystem and have recently gained traction in the LLM trend. Mistral Large is Mistral AI's flagship model, boasting unparalleled reasoning capacities and native fluency in English, French, Spanish, German, and Italian. It positions itself as a competitor to established LLMs like ChatGPT and Claude2, offering superior reasoning capabilities at a significantly lower cost. In fact, Mistral Large is priced 20% lower than the latest GPT iteration, GPT-4 Turbo. But what sets Mistral Large apart from other LLM models? Let's take a closer look at its capabilities. Reasoning and affordability. Mistral Large excels in tasks requiring logical deduction, information retrieval, and question answering. It offers a significantly lower cost compared to its competitors, making it an attractive option for developers and coders. Multilingual capacities of Mistral Large surpasses other models on various benchmarks in French, German, Spanish, and Italian languages, math, and coding capabilities. Mistral Large demonstrates exceptional proficiency in coding and mathematical tasks, showcasing top-notch performance. While benchmark results are impressive, real-world performance truly matters. Independent evaluations and head-to-head -head comparisons with established LLMs on various coding-related tasks are crucial for making informed decisions. It's important to note that the LLM landscape is constantly evolving and continuous development and refinement are essential for any LLM to stay ahead of the curve. Alongside Mistral Large, Mistral AI has also introduced LeChat, their consumer-facing chatbot. LeChat is a user-friendly interface that allows coders to interact with the powerful AI model without getting bogged down in technical complexities. It offers three distinct models, Mistral Small, Mistral Large, and Mistral Next, catering to different needs and requirements. As LLMs like Mistral Large become more powerful and accessible, ethical considerations become paramount. Responsible AI practices are crucial to ensure these models are used ethically and without bias or misinformation. In conclusion, Mistral Large offers a compelling alternative to ChatGPT for developers and coders looking to enhance their AI capabilities. With its advanced architecture, improved accuracy, and enhanced customization options, it is quickly becoming popular for those seeking a powerful and cost-effective AI solution. Let's take a look at LeChat and how we can use Mistral latest AI models. So let's check it out. Mistral latest update in their website. So here is the main page of Mistral official site. As you can see, they have just changed the front hat banner here. They have started promoting their own chatbot for their large language model called LeChat. Right here, we can see they're also available for business and coder developers to build things with their AI models using APIs through this platform connections. And then scroll down here. As you can see, there's a little change since last time we talked about Mistral Next, their website. Here they got more information and got more pinpoints talking about their large language models. And right here, as we can see the previous one, the Mistral 7B and Mistral 8 times 7B. So right here, as you can see, the Mistral Large are also partnering with Microsoft Windows Azure. And Microsoft is not only dedicated with OpenAI Chat GTP right now, that they are also very open to collaborate with other AI models company as well. And scroll down to here as you want to see the news, the latest information about Mistral Large. And you can click on the news here and you will see this page, the latest one. They call it the AU Large. Okay, so basically it's called a Mistral Large for the full name of it. 
and I have showed all the slides before in the introduction. Beginning of this video's talk about Mistral, their percentage of how good they are by surpassing other large language models. And right now, the only AI models on the market that is better than them is obviously the chat GTP4, and the other one is not quite close. And Cody 2 can be the closest one compared with Mistral large model. But one of the good thing of this model is that it can do native fluence, multiple language that's not just only English. So basically they are French startup and they are really focusing in European language as well. So they have support French, Spanish, German, Italians. So that is a really nice development of large language model that we see other than using English only models right here. So yeah, you guys can check it out. All these details, how they are compared with other larger language models. And right here, as you can see, the only one that is winning for this chat here is the GPT-4 is the one that can be compete with them. But other ones like Llama 2, ChatGPT 3.5, and Gogols and Claudia 2, well, they cannot even get close to what they do in the performance that they claim right here. Right? And obviously for other language in European language, they did way better than the previous two models. So the mixed draw 8 times 7 b and then the Llama 2770 b So these two are not even get close to them. We can expect to see something like that eventually for newer AI models release, and that will be obviously better than the previous one. But then there's a lot more things we'll add on like this. They have the multi-language model support. Let's try it out in LetChat. So basically, you can just click on their website here on the top corner so they can set let chat. And then the build now is the API call interface that for app developers, software developers, you guys want to use Mistral language models and integrate in your app software, you can use that to call their API. But in this videos, we are going to use chat. Just get a brief, simple ideas how it performs. So click into here, we will see this interface. So it really looks like the chat GDP and this one I have test this chat history and basically I want to test if this model are able to gather the real time information on the internet. Like this one, I paste the YouTube videos, tell them to summarize the YouTube videos, etc. But then again, just like Maestro Nix in the previous videos, it doesn't do real time data gather from the internet. And what about this one? is that this YouTube link is one of my YouTube channel's link talking about stable diffusions. But then it just generates some random stuff about history of entire world to me. So don't expect to use this one as generate like using the real-time internet information or just give it the link of the internet articles and expect this larger language model to generate something for you. So it doesn't work this way. So instead of that, Mistral is really good at doing logical response, doing some math and software coding, programming stuff that it is really specialized in doing. So let's try out again. We got to use the edit bit here. Last time we test Python with Mistral next. So this time we will test other things. Let's try C Sharp because that's my favorite language programming language. So let's try this one. We will skip the very easy and that easy part because, well, I guarantee that can be passed for this model. So forget about those. Let's start in medium, right? So in medium, we can do something like this one. Find the character counterpart chart code. Okay. So again, we got to copy this instruction and paste that into Mistral. So let's try in here. We got to set up a new chat, click this add button, and we got something in here. Allow us to type and we got to paste that instruction on here. And one thing, remember on the top right corner, you got to select the large, then that will be Mistral large. And then the other option is next. That is the one that we test previously and now it's available in official Mistral website. And the small is basically the Mistral small models. So remember to select large and we can test that. So this result by default, Mistral assume I'm talking about in Python, 
Then let's be more specific to Mistral instruction to tell that we are going to do in C sharp and see what this model can do because I am specifically in C sharp. And let's do it. Coding in C sharp, let's do this. Okay, so other language models, Mistral Large or Mistral in general, you can handle other coding programming language rather than just Python. And that is fantastic, right? So here's the functions. This is the main functions. Write the line of A and then capital A and small a. And let's try this one. We got to copy this code and go to here. We're back to the code tab and just paste it on here and press check. Okay, I got to lock in again. I forgot to lock in this one last time. Let's wait for this. Okay, back to here after login and let's click check and see. All right, so everything is passed in here. So this is good. Okay, we got last two results, pass. And basically that is, let's see the input of that. That is the special character from dollar sign. And then we don't have other dollar signs. Well, I give it a pass because this instruction are talking about chart code of a character and this kind of dollar sign, special character. Sometimes it cannot define. And that's, wow. Okay, let's try other one. Now, let's say array of multiple. This is pretty common thing we can do. And let's bring it to C sharp, okay? And remember, coding in C sharp, we got to do this one because we are doing a challenge in C sharp. Okay, yeah, pretty cool actually. Maestro knows the system link you, and this is one of the latest after development libraries, the link libraries from Microsoft. And it actually know this one, and it applied this kind of syntax for the link, I mean link queue. Okay, so let's try this one. We're not going to edit their code and just be very honest and copy and paste on here. Just check. Okay, so everything is passed in this test. All right, so let's go to heart level and let's see. We got some Power Ranger. Wow. Okay, we got to try this one. And let's see, say coding in C sharp. We got to do this one and create functions that take in N and A and B and return the number of positive values, rise to the nub power, and light the range A and B exclusive. Well, actually, in this official website, LED Chat, even these models, Mistral Large is a large size of LLM. You don't expect to install this in local PC because it's really large. But then the response time is pretty fast for this one. It is better than a lot of Llama 70B because 70B is very large too. But it can be installed in local PC for some high-end computers. But then, okay, this is passed. But then if you really install this kind of large size LLM in your local PC, and that is going to be very hard for some lower-end computers to run. So let's try this one new driving license. Okay, this is for C sharp. Let's try this one. Okay, let's just press enter this time and see if it got the memories of me to doing C sharp. Okay, so the tokens have recognized to remember, I should say to remember that my current sections is doing programming language in C sharp. So I don't have to repeat again each time. So let's try this one in here and see if the coding is correct or not. Okay, some fail and some pass. Actually, it's one pass and then other ones fail and see what happened. Here is, okay, so basically the calculations is not right. All right. 
This is not a pass and this is actually in a very hard level. Let's try the other one. Let's track robot. Well, yes, this is a good one. True alphabetical order. Okay. Let's try this one. See if this is work. And copy this. Go to here, go to code and paste it on here and check. Okay, so very hard is kind of the maximum level for these models because previously we did Mistral Nix and Mistral Nix. It can be passed in some of the very hard logics it can be done. But then this time we try Mistral Large and like 2 out of 2 is failed. So let's try one more time and see if this is really a fail. So if 3 times fail, then it's done it. paste and let's see it actually it's kind of fascinating that i see an ai models can do regular expressions like that it's pretty cool but i'm not sure if that is right or wrong so we got to check it out and see okay some pass all right so we just got one is wrong in here but other is correct okay so i will give it a pass and mistral next can do very hard level in this coding challenge and expert office is all fail so we don't have to spend time to do expert levels so yeah basically the mistral large and also the latest chat interface from mistral the chat is well very good i would say the response time is very fast and then the way of the timing of the ai models thinking about the logics and then write the code in here is pretty fast too it's faster than Code Llama in previous Code Llama models and other things. It doesn't have a lot of plug in features like what we saw in OpenAI because currently this lead chat interface is very new and all you can do is connect your credit card and do your subscription here. If you got more advanced stuff to create an API key and do things like that and you can do in there, but other things is basically a very simple interface. And also you can create other workspace here so that you have another clean workspace that is dedicated for all the chat history. For example, doing content creations and then other one, other workspace is doing a YouTube video script and other workspace, maybe like this one, do programming language. So there you go, the chat, pretty nice, I like it. And very clean interface, not too much fancy stuff flying around. And then if try out, guys, the Mistral Large, the latest language model from Mistral AI. So I will see you guys in the next videos and talk to you soon. Bye.